Hey there, garden fans. Welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. In my efforts to grow organic and not use any pesticides or sprays, I found myself here dealing with an issue with my pear trees. They have fire blight. It's a bacterial infection. Uh, it's pretty common in my area. It happens in wet areas. I don't get much morning sun, so the plants don't have time to uh, dry off. And uh, now I'm finding myself having to be reactive instead of proactive and treat this tree for a bacterial infection. Common signs of fire blight are blackening fruit, just like this. Eventually that black will work all the way down the stem. Um, so here's a common mistake, guys. You know, I was trying to grow totally organic, use no sprays, no pesticides, no nothing, and now I'm having to be reactive instead of proactive. Um, help treat this disease. I'm have to bust out the big guns. Use some organocide, plant doctor. I don't know how well this product is. I've seen mixed results, but it's my last chance to try to save these trees and get some sort of production off of them this year if I want any at all. I've pruned off a lot of the infected canes and branches off of this tree. Uh, the good thing is, is that the new growth doesn't look too infected or nasty, but I seem to have had a lot of problems with my apple and pear trees uh, in my particular climate here in Zone 8. I, I dealt with apple scab issues last year that were able to get cured, and now I'm dealing with uh, fire blight here in my pear trees. So, uh, big tip for everybody. I should have treated this tree at the first sign of it wanting to bud up and flower. So probably about a month or two ago, when this tree was starting to put on its new growth, I should have been spraying it down with organocide and helping it <laughs> stay healthy. So just hope you learn from some mistakes here that I had. Um, you know, fire blight happens in the rosacea family, which is pears and apples. So. I'm going to be proactive and treat all three trees here with this organocide, even though I'm not seeing any fire blight on the apple or my other pear tree. Uh, I'm just going to have to be proactive now instead of reactive. Um, hope you all can glean some information from this. I don't need your boo-hoos or your, you know, sorry about that, so please don't, no comments on this one, guys. God bless.